Hello fellow flight simmers and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. If this is your first time on the channel and you like flight simulation and want to learn more about X-Plane 11 or just like to watch cinematic flight videos and other flight simulation related stuff, then start by hitting subscribe and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today I'll show you how to install what is probably the most popular X-Plane 11 freeware add-on of all time, the Boeing 737 Zippo mod. So this is an update to a video I made back in 2017, which is obsolete now, since a few things have changed since then. I'm going to be using a small standalone program called the Zippo Updater. It's a Windows only program that can be used to keep your Zippo mod updated at all times, which is very clever since this add-on gets updated all the time. Now if you're not on Windows, then please don't stop watching because you'll still be able to use this tutorial to learn how to install the Zippo mod into X-Plane 11 and keep it updated. Ok folks, let's get started. First, we need to download the Zippo updater. Again, if you're not on Windows, then please skip this part and wait for the part where we'll download the full download version of the Zippo aircraft. All links to the Zippo updater and the actual aircraft can be found in the video description down below. Scroll down here to download the updater. Next we need a full installation of the Zippo mod and this is where you want to start if you're on Linux or Mac. Again, find the link to download the Zippo mod in the video description down below. Here you want to download the latest file that says full, which is this one. After downloading, you first need to unpack the downloaded aircraft and move it to the aircraft folder inside X-Plane 11. Not a subfolder inside the X-Plane 11 aircraft folder, but directly into the aircraft folder. Next, we'll update the aircraft to the latest version. If you're on Linux or Mac, you'll need to do this manually by downloading the latest patch from before and then move it into the Zippo mod folder from before. If, on the other hand, you're on Windows, then you want to use the Zippo updater to keep the Zippo mod updated. Double click the Zippo updater exe file. Now you have two options, one if you're new to the updater and one if you're familiar with the program. We are just going to go with the latter. Now we just need to tell the updater which folder to use for updates. I'm just going to use the same directory as the updater. And then we need to tell it where our Zippo mod has been installed into X-Plane 11. Here we're in the X-Plane 11 main folder. Now let's locate the Zippo mod folder. And then I'll just copy the path here and paste it into the updater. Now you can see there's a flashing icon in the top of the window telling us that there's an update available. Then just click the icon and click again to start updating. As you can see, the program will then start downloading and updating the current aircraft to the latest version. And that's it. Now we have the latest version of the Zippo installed and we can go fly it in X-Plane. Next time we want to update it, then we'll just run the updater once again. And since we've already set the folders, it'll just pop up with a message whether there's an update or not. If on the other hand you're on Linux or Mac, then you need to check for updates yourself from the Zippo download site, as we did earlier, and then install the path manually. 
Now that we have the aircraft installed and updated, there's a few optional plugins that are highly recommendable to download and install and use with your Zippo installation. If you need help with installation of plugins in Explain, please do check out the video I made about this topic. A link can be found in the video description. The first one is the Terrain Radar and Vertical Situation Display. A link for this as well can be found in the video description. The name of the plugin is kind of self-explanatory. It adds Terrain Radar and Vertical Situation Display not only into the Zippermod, but can also be used in other aircraft. The plugin works in two modes, integration into the navigation display of a long list of aircraft and as an overlay window that works for all other aircraft. Really neat feature. Next. There's the Avitap plugin. Avitap is a tablet for your cockpit with full support for X-Plane's native VR mode and the normal 2D mode. It's got a lot of useful features such as PDF viewer, airport info with runway length, meter info, ILS frequencies and more. Moving map that supports online and offline maps. You can even scan your own map image and calibrate it to use it as a moving map. There's Navigraph integration to link your Navigraph account to see charts right in the cockpit. Avitap is not only useful in the Sibyl, but can also be used in a lot of other aircraft, in some cases after downloading and installing a small freeware upgrade. Well folks, that was all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you very soon.